Question. Explain the importance of test cases in web automation and how you ensure thorough coverage. Answer. Test cases form the foundation of web automation by providing a systematic approach to validate application functionality. They define the steps to simulate user interactions and verify expected outcomes. For thorough coverage, I follow these steps, identify different user scenarios, I list various user flows, input combinations, and edge cases. Prioritize test cases, I categorize test cases based on risk, business impact, and frequently used features. Cover positive and negative scenarios, I ensure that both valid and invalid inputs are tested to validate behavior. Explore boundary conditions, I test scenarios near the limits of data ranges to catch potential issues. Execute regression tests, I include test cases that validate existing functionality after new changes. Question, differentiate between primitive data types and reference data types in Java, and provide examples of each. Answer, primitive data types store simple values directly, while reference data types store references, memory addresses, to complex objects. Examples, primitive, int age equals 25, char grade equals a, boolean is active equals true, reference. String name equals John, eat, numbers equals, 1, 2, 3, comma object obj equals new object. Question, describe encapsulation and provide an example of how it can be implemented in a Selenium automation project. Answer, encapsulation is the concept of bundling data and methods that operate on that data into a single unit, class. In a Selenium project. I encapsulate web element locators and interaction methods within a page object class. For example, consider a login page public class login page, private by username field equals by dotted username, public void enter username string username driver dot find element username field, send keys username. Question, explain the difference between list and set interfaces in Java collections framework and provide use cases for each. Answer, list maintains an ordered collection with possible duplicates, while set maintains a collection of unique elements without a specific order. List, array list, linked list, suitable for scenarios where order matters, like maintaining user histories or task lists. Set, hash set, tree set, useful when managing unique items such as tags in a blog post or unique values in a drop-down. Question, how do you locate a web element using its ID attribute in Selenium? Provide a code example. Answer, to locate an element by its ID, I use driver.findElement by dotted elemented. For example, to locate a username field web element username field equals driver.findElement by dotted username. Question, Describe the page object model POM design pattern and its benefits in Selenium test automation. Answer: The page object model POM, is a design pattern where each web page or component has a dedicated class containing its locators and related methods. Benefits include reusability. Locators and methods are defined once and reused across multiple test scripts. Maintainability. Changes to the UI can be addressed within the respective page class, reducing the impact on other parts of the code. Readability Test scripts become more intuitive and readable, as they interact with page objects rather than raw locators. Question How can you group test methods in TestNG, and why is this useful in a test suite? Answer Test methods can be grouped using the addTest annotation with the group's parameter. Grouping allows the execution of specific subsets of tests during different testing phases. For instance, at test groups equals smoke public void test login, slash slash test logic, grouping is useful as it enables focused testing, such as executing only smoke tests before deployment, or running full regression suites during a QA phase. Question, explain the purpose of feature files in Cucumber and how they are used to define test scenarios. Answer, 
feature files in Cucumber define test scenarios in a human-readable format using Gherkin syntax. They serve as living documentation, enabling collaboration between technical and non-technical stakeholders. Each feature file represents a feature or functionality of the application, and scenarios are defined with steps that describe user interactions feature, login feature scenario, successful login given user navigates to the login page when user enters valid username and password and user clicks the login button then user should be redirected to the dashboard. Question: What are the advantages of using a data-driven framework in Selenium automation? How would you implement it? Answer: A data-driven framework separates test data from test scripts, promoting reusability and reducing duplication. Advantages include easy test scalability. New test scenarios can be added without modifying the code base. Efficient testing: The same script can be run with different inputs, covering multiple scenarios. Enhanced maintenance. Test data changes are isolated from the core test scripts. Implementation involves storing test data in external files, for example, Excel, CSV, JSON, and using libraries to fetch and inject this data into test scripts dynamically. Question: How does the Agile methodology impact the way you plan and execute your web automation projects? Answer: Agile's iterative approach aligns well with automation by enabling continuous integration and testing. Here's how it impacts my process: Iterative planning. I break down test cases into smaller chunks that align with Agile's sprints. Continuous testing. I integrate automation into the C/CD pipeline for frequent and automated testing. Regular feedback. Demos and feedback loops ensure automation stays in sync with changing requirements. Agile ceremonies: Automation is planned and reviewed during sprint planning and retrospectives. This approach ensures that automation efforts are aligned with the development process and that any changes are addressed promptly.